Today, we're going to be testing how well my yacht can survive tsunamis, hurricanes, and more. Let's get started. Look at this amazing looking yacht. Let's get inside and actually start spawning in some crazy stuff. First thing we need to do is turn on engines and systems and put our speed on full. And there we go. We are already moving just like that. That's amazing. All right, so what should be the first thing that we test this thing again? So we have like tsunamis, hurricanes, and what else? Let's just open our menu here. So we have krakens, megalodons. Um, Let's see. We're going to do a whirlpool first. So let's see. A whirlpool is currently being spun and I kind of see the water twisting. Oh, I think that's it right there. Oh my gosh, guys, a whirlpool is spawning right behind our yacht. But you want to know what? I am prepared for this because I did put stabilizers on this thing and they work really well. We have an active stabilizer actually in the main hall down here that's working. As you can see, it's like kind of moving left and right and that's what it's supposed to be doing. So let's enter the whirlpool. See how well my yacht can survive. Let's turn on the lights in here. Oh gosh, okay. So we are probably driving in it right now. Um, Let's see. Uh, it's trying to drag us in, but let's see if this thing can outrun it. So if we just keep going forward and I think we can. Okay, I don't want to outrun it. I want to see how far we can go inside of it. And actually, we just respawn the whirlpool a couple of miles out from shore that means these are going to be much larger so we're going to be turning into this thing hold on let's turn the waves up so we can kind of see the depth of it a little bit better there we go oh my gosh that looks oh we're capsizing what what is going on with my boats i think our swimming pool is now drained okay that's fine so if we turn down our throttle here it should be all okay right okay throttle is off why are we flipping it's doing some weird stuff if i'm be honest like i was not expecting this for my boats i thought it'd survive much better okay so we're at the center of the whirlpool currently are we gonna float back up at least the jet ski's still connected somehow after all that like barrels and stuff okay we're floating back up okay we're gonna completely gun it right now and see if we can um oh gosh i turned off the engine oh no we're flipping over okay, so i don't know how well my yacht can survive a whirlpool if i'm gonna be honest this doesn't look ideal but you know it'll work okay so we're gonna go on full throttle here it just keeps flipping over that's the issue so now let's cancel the whirlpool see if we can actually um escape it wait i think we're gonna escape it right now what the heck okay we are currently flying in the air for some reason why is there like water coming out of the back of the boat what is that is that from the jet ski or my boat why are we what in the world is going on right now with this boat is so weird okay um please don't do that oh no guys we're flipping over okay there we go perfect and we have escaped the whirlpool okay i think it's just popping a wheelie right now because of the wind but um or else it's pretty stable all right so up next is a tornado of course you have to test your boat against a tornado if you're ever going to like officially test it so let's go in our custom menu and spawn in a tornado there we go where's it spawning at probably directly above us so we need to be careful tornadoes do cause a lot of damage so all down here is our like bilge pump controls which is really nice our emergency battery which is only used for emergency situations but the tornado is touching down right behind us we're gonna be doing a u-turn here i got this thing fully port side currently but here we go we're gonna be driving towards the tornado hopefully it doesn't like fly away because the wind is kind of pushing it in the wrong direction here but you know we'll try catching up to it we're on full speed i think oh my gosh look at that tornado we're gonna be driving my boat inside of okay we're gonna turn on our deck lights and navigational lights that'll definitely help with the situation okay look at all that water in the tornado this is just gonna completely destroy my ship oh it's really doing stuff right now oh we're in the air we do have some air time and we are what are we doing um okay that's fine it didn't break anything oh my gosh we're gonna get body slammed it is throwing this thing around like it's a piece of paper what the heck okay i don't think this thing's that good at surviving tornadoes i don't know how we're still in the air but um we're actually gaining altitude currently we're about to go in the spiral of it here we go this is when damage does start to happen and it's shooting us back down okay that's fine we're a boat we're supposed to be in the water either way so yeah you can put me back in there we're gonna try out running it and that's not happening yeah vehicle damage is on so the tornado will start um putting some scrapes here and there once we go inside of it but i don't think that's gonna happen i don't know oh don't go upside down i don't know if this thing can flip over if it's capsized but i guess we're gonna see here in a second oh my gosh oh we have a fire on board we have major damage um wait the fire disappeared okay that's good at least but the jet ski is like pumping out water or something i don't know why it's doing that but we do survive the tornado um i guess 50 feet in the air we do also have some damage uh any water do we have any water down there there. I guess we're not in the water, so water wouldn't fill it up. How about we cancel the tornado and see if we can actually float with... Oh my gosh. Okay, tornado's being canceled currently. Hopefully it is at least. Um, that is a massive spiral, at least an EF5 or something. So we have uh, no water. Wait, we do have some water in the midships and the bow. Okay, let's close our watertight doors here and keep all the compartments separate. So there we go. Watertight doors have just been shut, and now all the water should be in one compartment, which it is. Perfect. And let's completely shut down the throttle here. See if there's any water when we stop. Oh, there's water starting to enter in the midship, but you know what? That's fine because we have a bilge pumps, so the bilge pumps are on, and it'll just bring that number straight to zero. Perfect. And then if we turn them off, it should stay at zero. Okay, so the bow must have a leak. So up in here, oh, definitely it does have a leak. So up in the bow right here, we have a major water leak. Okay, a tornado's cool and all, but we're going to spawn in a Kraken and see how well this thing can survive with the tornado damage still here. So let's go ahead, go on our custom menu and spawn in a Kraken. Oh, I think I know where it's at. Oh my gosh. Okay, are we 
detecting it on our sonar. Wait, our radar's broken. Why is our radar? Oh, it is. What the heck? I don't know how that got damaged. Um, I guess a piece of the tornado shrapnel must have hit it. But um, sonar, uh, we do have some sonar left still. So we're detecting some stuff under us. Oh, look at that. There's a blue and red marker right there. We're going to completely shut down the engine and just wait for the Kraken to attack. We have our sonar active, so we should be detecting it any second. Um, oh, where'd it go? I don't know where it's at. Oh, this is scary. Okay, we're detecting something over there. And then if we go over it and hover, it says crack next to it, which means Kraken. So we have a Kraken somewhere lurking underneath the water. Um, I think it's swimming towards us. Let's see. Guys, if we just take a sneak peek under the boat, the Kraken is swimming on... Wait a second. He's coming in forward attack. Everyone brace for impact. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna get inside real quick. There's a Kraken coming from... I see it right there. Oh, he's coming in forward attack. Brace for impact. And he's completely shifting the boat out of place. This is not good. Okay, we need to anchor down. Drop all anchors. There we go. We are starting to lower our anchor. It's trying to like fit through the Kraken legs, but it's... Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, there we go. Fit through there. Now we should connect to the bottom here in a bit. And then, oh, the Kraken let go. Is there any damage? I don't see any damage, actually. That's very surprising. Normally, it tends to... Oh, it's coming in for round two. Okay, that was really fast. Well, here we go. Round two. I guess it didn't hit us that time. It definitely will now. This does not look ideal. You can say, I just heard a big crunch. Look at all that damage. Wait, we have water probably flooding and everything. Hold on. What if we open our watertight doors? Oh, that's catastrophic. Water is currently flooding in our ship. Currently, the Kraken is dragging us. Uh, we're still not connected to the sea floor. I don't know how. It's still lowering, so we must be in a very deep area. There we go. We're connected. We're going to stop lowering it and kind of start bringing it up here. There we go. So we are... Oh, it's trying to bring us down. We're sinking. Um, Water levels. Close all bulkheads. Closing the watertight doors. There we go. And all bilge pumps will be activated right now. And the water is still going up. Oh my gosh. I think we're... Wait, are we going to the bottom? No, we're not. Okay, that's good. We are trying to resurface. There we go. He let us go. And the anchor's connected. Let's bring the anchor up a little bit. And it should still be connected. Perfect. So we have a slight amount of damage on the right side. I can definitely feel the list to the right, which means we have a ton of water filling into our right compartment. Hold on. We do have like an interior to this thing. So why don't we see what's going on? So uh, in our bathroom, we do have a little water leak in there. That's concerning. Let's see what's going on back here. A ton of damage in here. Oh no, not the bar. Okay. We're going to turn on the bar lights here. Wait, they don't have electricity. Did I forget to connect electric or did I like, oh, I might've forgotten or the crack and hit out the battery. The battery's right here. So it looks fine. No water in the engine room. It's staying at kind of zero. It's kind of rising also, but that's fine. I guess we do have also a lifeboat on board or a jet ski, you could say, but um, you know, we could rescue ourselves with that. Maybe, oh, the Kraken's out there. Oh, get in the seat, get in the seat. There we go. We're back in the helm. We have a major fire going on now. I can confirm what, oh, he's trying to bring us down. Okay, we have all bilge pumps on, watertight doors sealed. Checklist is complete. There's nothing else we can really do at this point. Water's filling up in every compartment now, even the engine room. So uh, that's really bad. Okay, engine room water levels are rising. That's fine. We do have an emergency bilge. Oh, the anchor just completely snapped out of the bottom. I don't know what's going on with that. But we are definitely sinking um, to the starboard side of us. So let's go back down there, see if there's any water that we can see. Okay, we're in the engine room right now. We're going to start using this bilge pump here. And yep, we are trying to pump out water. And okay, that's really bad. Straight from behind this time. Oh, he is going to body slam us right here. Oh, this is really bad. I think we're definitely sinking right now. Anchor connected. What is the anchor connected to? I think it just reconnected to the bottom. That's interesting. Wait, what's going on down there? Uh, Wait, the bulkheads are damaged. They're flooding. Oh, oh no, that's really bad. Okay, we're definitely sinking now. We should maybe start abandoning ship. Let's see if there's any water down here. Okay, so small amount of water in the bathroom still. Over here's where, oh, wait, we're really underwater on this window here. That wasn't there a couple seconds ago. Water is flooding through the engine room here. Oh, okay, yep, we're getting out of here. We need to get out of here right now. Get on the lifeboat. Uh, we don't have a lifeboat. I don't care. We are in my sinking yacht. We need to get out of this thing. Okay, we're gonna go through this door here. Oh, I really designed this bad. I completely forgot to fix that. There we go. Oh, get back inside. Okay, I'll get back inside. Fine, fine, fine. I'll get back inside. No problem at all, guys. This is really bad. Okay, we're gonna cook up a uh, dinner while the Kraken's outside my window. Hello, how are you doing? What would you like for dinner? You're not having us for dinner? Oh my gosh, he's trying to bring us down. The light is flickering a concerning amount of times. Let's see our floating status. Okay, so I guess it's like not horrible, but not also that bad. Should we spawn in a Megalodon? That sounds like a horrible idea, but we're gonna do it. So we spawned in a couple of them, th probably like three or four, but that's fine. Not all of them attack. Okay, but I can confirm we are sinking. Should we get out of this thing right now? We do have the uh, jet ski, so we're probably gonna get out of here unless something else attacks us. We're just gonna no clip through there. All right, so how do we unload this? We disconnect the rope right there, and then um, let's see, we go on here, disconnect the brake, and we are off and getting out of the sinking ship. It's trying to slide off the hinges right now. The shark is coming in for an attack. We just disconnected in time. Oh my gosh, there goes our ship. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We're just totally not part of the ship. Hello, shark. 
shark fin. Oh, that's my ship down there, guys. I don't have enough money for that. Right, you can see the anchor like flying right next to it. Wait, the boat resurfaced. Okay, that's good. That's very... Oh, wait, hold on. That doesn't look that good to me. Um, We just we got out of there just in time, I think. Let's just check up on it. Um, Never mind. I guess we're not doing that. There my ship goes. Guys, this Megalodon is crazy. I think that's the same one. Um, Okay, it's floating back up. Let's see if it can actually resurface here. Okay, there we go. That looks really bad. Um, Wait, did I leave that door open? Hold on. We need to check real quick. My boat is sinking, guys. Imagine. Okay, we're gonna go up here, see what's going on. So, is there any water in the inside? I don't see any. That's all clear. What in the world is that thing doing? Okay, that's a Megalodon. We need to get out of here. We're gonna teleport in the inside, see if there's any water. I definitely can confirm there's probably a lot. Yep, the water completely flooded in the bar section. We're gonna get out of here before Kraken attacks again. So, here we go. Go, go, go. Jeez, it is sinking so fast right now. Look at that. This shark is relentless. Okay, we're gonna get out of here on my jet ski and see what happens if we drive our boat into a tsunami this time. Okay, so the Krakens and Megalodons are still spawned in over there. They're lurking under the water somewhere, but before we get attacked by them, we're gonna spawn in a tsunami and see how well my boat does against it, you know? Because that's the definitely the one thing you gotta test if you get a boat, especially in Stormworks. Like, this is mainly a boating game, and that's what you gotta do. You gotta spawn in a tsunami. So where's the spawning? I think it's right over there. Hold on. What's that orange thing? A shark. They must have changed the color on that, because I don't remember it looking like that. But here we go. Tsunami versus my boat in a couple minutes here. So we do have enough time to kind of, like, just go outside. Um, oh, I really hate that door. We're just gonna have to no clip through there. Don't fall off the boat. That was really close. But I mean, I guess we could just chill in the hot tub. You know, we got a hot tub for that reason. So we're just gonna chill in here. We can't even see the tsunami coming, which makes it even better. What about on the seat here? Just barely. I don't think you'd be looking that way, though. You'd just be looking at the cool hot tub. Wait, this is a cold hot tub. And oh, guys, there's a tsunami going towards our boat. We need to get back up here right now. Get back in the helm. Oh, we, guys, this is a worst vacation ever. Here we go. We need to get back up here. Let's see how well my yacht can survive against a tsunami. All right, we've already done this, but you know, it's fun to do it again. So we're gonna be on complete full throttle this time. We're not gonna stop full throttle and hopefully we can climb up with our powerful engines, but you know, we'll see. We got our bar up there with all the drinks that are probably gonna fly off. We are starting to rise the ultimate tsunami right now. Let's see if we can get all the way to the top without going underwater. I think we just barely can and we are, oh, this is really bad. We are an airplane currently. We have way too much airtime for a yacht like this. We're gonna pierce the water straight from the back and launch ourselves out because the propellers are spinning and we did survive, I think. Let's check our water levels. Water level are looking completely clear. No water in any compartments with the watertight door bulkhead still open. So that's pretty impressive. But that's probably going to be it for this testing video on my yacht. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. And by the way, this is in the description if you want to go and subscribe to it if you have Stormworks. But thanks for watching and goodbye.